Hi, I'm Dr. Vidushi from Suvi Eye Hospital and Lasik Laser Center, Kota, Rajasthan. And in this video, we discuss the use of intracameral antibiotics and whether they have a role in the prophylaxis of post-operative endophthalmitis following cataract surgery. Now, one of the major evidences for the use of intracameral antibiotics for prevention of post-operative endophthalmitis came from the ESCRS study group which used intracameral cefuroxim in their study and they found a significant decrease in the incidence of post-operative endophthalmitis after the use of intracameral antibiotics. Most of these studies have found a significant decrease in the incidence of post-operative endophthalmitis and since fourth generation fluoroclonolons are considered to be a superior drug as compared to cefuroxim, it is generally assumed that this drug would be a better choice for intra intracameral use. Recently, there have also been some studies that have compared the intracameral cefuroxime as and intracameral moxifloxacin. And even though large number of cases are needed to find a significant decrease in the uh, incidence of a condition that is already very low, generally people have observed that intracameral moxifloxacin gives superior results as well as vancomycin. Now, prevention of post-operative infection is of course something that everyone desires, but why do we need intracameral antibiotics? The condition uh, of post-operative endophthalmitis already has a very low incidence and we need to observe all the other standard protocols for preventing post-operative infection in addition to the use of intracameral antibiotics. However, intracameral antibiotics offer an added protection, especially when we have bulk surgeries to do in conditions where pre-operative screening and preparation is a challenge because of the high number of surgeries or sometimes is less than adequate and also to provide additional protection because there are many other factors that can have a role and therefore using intracameral antibiotics gives us an added protection in prevention of post-operative endophthalmitis. This however in no way means that we can compromise on the safety elsewhere but it is just that sometimes despite our best efforts lacunae may remain and even if there are no lacunae it is good to have an additional protection in the form of intracameral antibiotics. The intracameral route is good because it provides immediate high antibiotic levels uh, much above the minimum inhibitory concentrations which are sustained in the aqueous for a period of time that is adequate to provide post-operative prophylaxis. There are less chances of the development of bacterial resistance through this route and it gels well with the cataract surgery that we perform where at the end of the cataract surgery we can give the intracameral injection. The current protocol at our hospital for prevention of uh, infection is to use pre-operative moxifloxacin eye drops, the self-preserved variety. We use uh, 4 drops at an interval of 15 minutes each. We also use a 5% solution of betadine in the conjunctival sac 10 minutes pre-operatively and then while preparing and draping the patient we use 10% betadine to prepare the uh, eye and the periocular area and we must remember that we must give at least 3 minutes for this betadine to dry before the betadine can have its action. At the end of the cataract surgery, we use preservative-free moxifloxacin intracamerally 0.1 ml or 500 micrograms. The dosage that has been used for intracameral moxifloxacin ranges from 100 to 500 micrograms. Different authors have used it differently. Some people use a diluted 0.1% solution and inject it intracamerally to give a dose of 100 micrograms and 0.1 ml and some people use 0.05 ml of the direct 0.5% solution that is available which gives a dose of 250 micrograms and 0.05 ml. However, the 500 micrograms is, does not require any dilution and has been used in many studies and is found to be safe and this is what we use that is 0.1 ml of 0.5% solution which gives a dosage of 500 micrograms. And then again we use moxifloxacin and eye drops post-operatively for a period of at least 30 days. This video shows the use of intracameral moxifloxacin available as pre-filled syringes specifically for the use uh, after cataract surgery. These pre-filled syringes have recently become available in the form of 4 quin PFS uh, from the Entod Pharma company and they have been designed uh, specifically for the uh, intracameral use for prevention of post-operative endophthalmitis. Intracameral moxifloxacin use is now becoming a standard procedure in many centers and even if it is not used for all the cases, 
We would recommend that it should at least be used in high-risk cases, for example, in cases of trauma, in elderly patients where the conjunctival sac is likely to be more highly contaminated, or in any other cases where the chances of complications are higher. Thank you.